in Greece, uh, after the agreement through the Greek government and the Troika, that is ICB, ECB, IMF and the EU Commission, uh, we now face a very grave uh, situation, as you all know. Uh, one part of this grave situation is the cuts in the pensions and the wages. Uh, the very a lot of a loss of, of basic uh, rights when it comes to health, uh, security, and other very important issues for the rights of uh, the human rights of people. And uh, one also basic problem that arises is uh, the water privatization. Uh, it is part of the agreement to have them privatized. Uh, we. The two companies that are going to be privatized is the water company of Thessaloniki and the water company of Athens. In the case of Thessaloniki, the tender is already on, so we're in the second phase, where the company which is mainly interested is uh, Suez, and uh, the second uh, um, uh, case is Mekborot from Israel, which is actually a public company. Uh, so these are the two companies which are interested in AIAF. If for AIAF, for the time being, for the Athens Water Company, we haven't started yet uh, the tender. Um, for us, uh, as a water movement, right now the most important thing is actually to stop the privatization from taking place and then discuss perhaps what kind of social water services we want. Of course, we want rational management, democratic management, participation of the people in, uh, in the water management, and also, uh, let's just say, direction of non-for-profit. I mean, water is a commons, and for us, uh, our, our vision is to actually that uh, the people in the societies treat it as such. Uh, but for the time being, I think that the, the privatization is an imminent uh, danger. So for us, it is very, very important to, let's just say, not to, to do that to step backward. First, uh, the people in Greece face too many problems right now. And uh, to explain to them a, a future problem that will arise after the, the, the privatization of water services is quite a difficult task. The privatization of water services does not affect only the employees, but actually it affects everybody. It affects uh, the families. It affects uh, even the small businesses that will see their cost, um, you know, go up and the tariffs go up. So this is very important and uh, we try to raise awareness in general because one of the main issues is that uh, the people in Greece haven't faced the problems of, of privatization and so they do not really know anything about it. And uh, it's quite a difficult task but you know through campaigning and actually doing new neighborhood events every week, projections, uh, open discussions, uh, we try to uh, raise this, the, the awareness and the, for uh, I think we have done quite all right. Uh, for example, we have managed to have the ECI uh, signatures, the European Citizens Initi Initiative signatures. We raised more than 33,000 signatures, uh, almost the double than the minimum that uh, we had to, to do. And that was also a means, a vehicle, through which uh, we approached people to make them understand that uh, the water services are going to be uh, uh, privatized. Some of them didn't really even know. Uh, this is because one of the bidders, together with Suez, is an uh, actor, which is a big uh, constructor company in, uh, in Greece. Uh, a company who at the same time owns a lot of media outlets. So you can understand why there is not much talk in the Greek media about water privatization and the, this, 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 there is no open debate about it.